Welcome to the Travel in Europe channel. This is a YouTube channel that specializes in travel around Europe with specialty for Italy. We have cities, food and wine, sites that you want to see. Here's a map from Trevi Fountain to the Pantheon in drive mode, and here's one in walk mode. You can see the difference. Setting your GPS to your hotel or albergo is easy and lets you find your way back easy. Hi, I'm George Fiebisch, and today we're going to talk about smartphones and GPS. I really don't know what we did before smartphones. You remember getting those AAA maps and trying to figure out where you were going and where you were. And of course all the streets weren't on them, so you just, just it was very difficult to get around. Now with smartphones, um, we can put in uh, GPS coordinates to our hotel, to a site we're trying to get to, a museum, a restaurant, and get there very easily. You want to remember though uh, to put it in walk mode. So make sure if you're walking, you're in walk mode. If you're driving, you're in drive mode. The other thing you have to worry about um, with uh, smartphone GPS is like in the Trastevere area of Rome, um, the buildings are made of cement and brick and, and they're thick walls. Um, the GPS signal sometimes doesn't penetrate very well. So if you're not getting a signal and it can't uh, guide you, don't panic, just find your way to a park or a piazza where you have open space and you'll reconnect. Look at your map, try to figure out where you're going and then, then go on. But most places, even in Rome, the GPS works fine. Now the other thing you want to remember is that your phone plan. Um, data usage uh, can cost money. We have a T-Mobile and, and T-Mobile International is unlimited free but it is very slow, so if you're trying to download videos and things, it doesn't work very well. But for putting in like your hotel name and getting back the GPS coordinates so it works, uh, it works fine. Um, but you, when you put a name in, like the Coliseum, on your uh, map program, it has to go out as data on the internet, find what the GPS coordinates are, the latitude and longitude, and then it puts that in so the GPS can find it. If you're at your hotel and you save uh, your current place uh, as a pin, it does all that for you and then it should work fine even in, in uh, airplane mode. And I tend to walk around European cities in airplane mode. It just protects me that if something is trying to go out and use the internet, like an auto update or something like that, it's not going to, you know, if you were on a charge plan, it's not going to charge you tons of money. Now, where do you get free access? Well, uh, in Europe, um, most bars, lots of restaurants, hotels, at least in the lobby, and many now even in your room, have free Wi-Fi connection. So go have a cup of coffee, a glass of wine, a gelato at a bar in Italy. Um, connect to their Wi-Fi. Talk to them if you know if it's not obvious how to connect. They'll give you a password and you're on. And now you have free access, so you can do all your communications with home and so on uh, at higher speed at, the, at whatever speed the bar's Wi-Fi is. Um, this is a great way to stay in touch and do your things, you know, go down in the morning, have your breakfast at the bar, do your emails, um, do your Facebook updates and so on, and it doesn't cost anything. So I hope this is helpful. We're going to have um, a, a vlog shortly on uh, different telephone plans and, and how they work and what you want to be aware of. Um, getting different SIM cards for Europe and, and Wi-Fi devices that can give you Wi-Fi even in your car. That'll be coming out shortly. As you drive through Italy, beware of streets like this where there's a cylinder that sticks up to block your way. Typically there's a call box where you can call the hotel and they can lower it. For now, 
Ciao and arrivederci. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe below, like, and don't forget to check the bell so that you get notified of new videos on this channel.